Alright y'all, and here we are, and we're about to paint this, the matte deep gray, which is uh, what you guys voted on. You've technically, uh, technically, you voted on uh, matte stealth gray, but this is just Krylon Fusion's uh, version of that, so it's the same color. You guys check that out. So I already went, I already did a, uh, how to paint your AR video, so this is not that. This is just progression in the Peasant Elite build, um, so we're going to go ahead and spray this let it dry it's actually a nice day here in north carolina today so i'm gonna go ahead and knock it out uh, spray this side let it dry for about 20 30 minutes flip it over spray the other side and we'll be good and i already removed all the attachments that we uh that you guys voted on so that way i can uh make this thing pop a little with the uh the black and the matte uh gray so let's let's get to it So the key is not to go too heavy. You don't want to get runs. So just do a, just do a light coat, let it dry for about five minutes or so, and then do a, another light coat. People try to soak them and just to be quicker and end up making it look like crap. It's really not rocket science, but uh, you'd be surprised. People can uh, People can mess up wet dreams. Gonna look good, boy. Get up in the uh, nooks and crannies. Uh, you do want to keep a magazine in here if you're not gonna watch the uh, how to paint your AR video. You do want to keep a mag and make sure you don't spray uh, up into the trigger too much because then it's gonna get up in the action and you don't want to have that because then it's gonna bind up and be all gritty and nasty and you'll have to go and clean it up. So uh, I already taped up all that stuff and left a mag in obviously, so no worries there. looking pretty good all right I'm let this dry for about five minutes hit it real quick again and then we will flip it over and switch to the other side all right guys so I flipped it I'm on the second side so once I get this coated you can see I got my decals on this side too um, so once I get this side done, I'm gonna let it dry and then I will probably let it sit for a few hours just so it's like really, really nice and dry. Then I'll start peeling these decals off and then I will show you guys the finished prod, uh, product and uh, hopefully it turns out as cool as I'm thinking it will in my mind. So uh, let's do this dang thing. I realize watching people paint is almost as interesting as watching paint dry. Like, wow. <laughs> but uh, it's pretty cool to do. If you've never painted an AR, it's definitely one of those things where you're like, oh my God. I guess I'd be more nervous if it was uh, an expensive piece, but here at the Peasant Elite Ranch, we, uh, we do not care. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. An initial coat, let it dry for about five, 10 minutes, let it get uh, nice and uh, nice and tacky and not have it run. And then I'll hit it again with a, uh, with a final second coat. And that will be it and she will be good. So I'm excited to see just how awesome this turns out. And then all the attachments will be back on it and they're obviously all black, so should pop out pretty good and uh, be pretty nice. All right, we give this about five minutes. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the second coat. I will just get back with you guys when this thing's dry and I'm peeling it and we see the finished product. All right, you guys, so the rifle's done, it's painted. I got the uh, decals peeled off, so it's got the, uh, the two-tone multi-cam effect going on, black and gray 
Matte gray is the color that you guys voted on. I think this thing looks pretty sweet, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, check it out here. I purposely have this, uh, this jacket over top of it because I didn't want you guys to see it while I uh, announced that it was done. So I got the accessories put back on so far, and uh, I think it looks pretty sweet. Let's, uh, let's look at this thing. All right, guys, here she is. Looks pretty freaking good, if I must say so myself. Check out. That's pretty cool. So uh, this is getting replaced for free. Um, I will give you more details on that when that part arrives. Uh, it's going to be a special shout out to a fellow YouTuber who's uh, hooking me up. But uh, like I said, more to follow and we'll see that. So this will be black also to add into that, you know, two-tone effect. So kept the stock black. Obviously the uh, optic in the backup sights, sling, the muzzle was taped off. Mag was inserted when we, uh, when we painted it. So just a quick heads up, you never want to paint this part of the magazine because that's what's feeding into the, uh, the mag well there. And you don't want to take any crud and nastiness if this starts to peel off and then getting up in there and uh messing with your messing with your feed ramps and all that stuff so yeah so yeah that's it check her out got the uh you know povas tactical light on there so i gotta get a uh a cable management system some way to uh to mount that uh, pressure pad up there. I want it to sit on the top of the rail here. But uh, the Strike Industries uh, little cable management systems, they're like three bucks. So I'm probably gonna pick one of those up. And uh, yeah, optics on there, backup sights are on there. This Magpul sling that you guys voted on. Quick adjust, pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. How do you guys think it turned out? Leave it down in the uh, comments what you think. So uh, it's a little darker than what it looks like in the uh, in the video. The light obviously, you know, makes it look a little a little lighter. But uh, I think it's pretty awesome. That matte gray, you guys did a good job with that. Appreciate you. <laughs> but uh, this thing's coming along good. So other than the uh, so you guys voted on the. Uh, what is it? The Magpul knockoff uh, angled foregrip. So I'm about to uh, pick that up and that should be here in a few days. And then I'll get this uh, upgraded pistol grip from a, uh, from a friend. And once that's done, all that's left is to uh, shoot this thing and see how it does. So uh, I'm excited about it, guys. I have really enjoyed this. I might do it again. It, it was pretty fun to get your guys' input and to, to build it the way you guys voted on. So uh, let me know what you think.